It's a sunny but freezing cold day in Liverpool. Uh, welcome to Dave Chip. Here with a West Ham United fan, actually. Evening. What are your thoughts on the game today? Uh, well, I'm happy that you know Lanzini's back in the, back in the fold. Whether he's going to start or not remains to be seen. Uh, yeah, last last three trips to Anfield, I'm beaten. Not the best ever. Oh, uh, three, three, three. Yeah, Starting at left back, up against Mo Salah. His first game for three months. I'm worried. In fact, I'm petrified. I think uh, Ika's going to have a fucking field day, mate. Worst luck in London. So Liverpool win by four goals to one, not much filming as advertised, um, was enjoying it a lot, brilliant brilliant second half performance from the Reds, some lovely little football, great goals, um, performances, midfield, great, Oxlade Chamberlain, Milner, Chan, all superb, could make a case for any of them being man in the match, for me there and Salah likewise, nice comfortable home win, um, not one that's going to live long in the memory, but... Um, you know, you can't really have any complaints about that. 4 1 went home to West Ham. We can see the goal, which was frustrating. Uh, not to get the clean sheet, um, but it wasn't a particularly sloppy one. I think Chan obviously could have done better, gives it away in midfield cheaply. But defensively, I don't think the shape was too bad. I think it's just one of them. Um, but some lovely goals and a convincing win up to second in the league. Uh, not something to jump around about, but, you know, momentum, confidence, can't argue with that. So. Positive, and now we're going to head into town for uh, a few drinks, and um, I guess I round everything up properly in the morning. Um, there you go. In the car park, about to leave Liverpool. Um, obviously, didn't get any footage from last night because I was too pissed. Uh, I will talk about the game later. Very, very happy still, and but very hungover. That's good. Yeah. So I'm back home now, as you just saw, um, the boys and I uh, got home this afternoon, caught the end of United-Chelsea. Um, as far as that result's concerned, I'll see United winning them going back up to second, but uh, it does leave a four-point gap between us and Chelsea. Uh, so as far as top four's concerned, it's a good result as far as finishing as high in the league as possible and second is concerned. Obviously, it's not good United winning. Uh, you never want to see United win at the best of times, but um, they obviously leap progress again and go into second. So, uh, But look, Spurs again as well, getting a late winner uh, is frustrating. Um, but, you know, relatively relatively decent weekend in terms of uh, you know the teams around us. Obviously, Chelsea uh, dropping points, and you'd expect Arsenal to drop points on Thursday. Um, just watched the cup final, which finished about half uh, about an hour ago. Uh, and Arsenal were dreadful. Wow, I mean, Arsenal were really, really embarrassing. Gary Neville labelled them disgraceful. And it's hard to argue with that. I think they're done as far as top four is concerned. And I think their season's just going to peter out, to be honest. Um, but Liverpool, um, as I said, uh, a nice a nice win, a nice 4-1 win. It's, 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 becoming, it's becoming the norm to come into these home games and get these sort of results and, and expect these results. So, I mean, I'm just going to get on my laptop now. I know we got Newcastle at home next weekend. I mean, you'd be surprised if that was anything other than a similar outcome to what we just saw uh, against West Ham. Then we've got Porto, second leg there, which will be a formality. Then it's United away, which is a huge, huge game. Um, must not lose, really, I think. Uh, you'd, you'd fancy us over the course of the season to maybe go two or three points better than United. So if we can avoid defeat at Old Trafford, I think that would be huge. Then Watford home, Palace away, Everton away, Bournemouth home, West Brom away, Stoke home, Chelsea away and Brighton at home. So with the exception of Chelsea, it's a nice run in from here. Uh, obviously, we're going to have European football as well, at least the quarter final. So, um, you know, fortunately, we're not having to play teams that are too tough. Um, we're able to rest players before United away. Um, and that's bar Chelsea, as I say, the only real, real test. Obviously, Everton in there as well, away from home. Uh, but most of the other sides that we're facing are relegation contenders. Obviously, West Brom, Stoke, who are in a relegation zone, Brighton, who are going to be down there. So, 
yeah, positive performance, positive um, situation for the rest to find themselves in. It was a very, very messy evening. Uh, obviously, it was my birthday, so uh, a big group of us went out um, on the town in Liverpool, um, which was great, um, and especially with the victory that came before it. All in one brilliant day. This probably isn't the best vlog I've ever ever uploaded because uh, not much actual football content um, from the game or anything, or not much... Uh, footage other than just me here talking so I'll, I'll, I'll do a bit more talking and just say that Liverpool was superb man of the match I think Andy Robertson got it um, which is fair enough a great assist for Mane's goal for Mino um, maybe he got man of the match he, he was great too uh, work great movement a lovely finish another no look goal um, Salah of course Salah won a uh, one shot that in a sort of second or third minute that was tipped onto the post and then a goal later on from a brilliant Oxlade Chamberlain assist. Such a such tenacity from the, the England man. Karius' save from Monaltovic's uh, chip was sublime. One of the best saves, probably his best ever save for Liverpool. Um, so great confidence booster for him. Shame we didn't get the clean sheet. But we move on and I think that's pretty much all we can say about this game. It was routine, it was lovely and... What a day had by all. So yeah, thanks for watching the video. I'll be back uh, with a Newcastle preview relatively soon. Um, just need to sleep and recover, basically. In the meantime, um, yeah, subscribe if you're new. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. And I'll see you next time.